السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. Today inshallah we will be going through the shahada and the conditions of la ilaha illallah. The shahada that is the statement of uh, the statement ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. There are conditions to that. And um, the shahada by itself has two parts, it has two portions. One is the Tawheed of Allah and one is the Tawheed of Risala. The Tawheed of Allah is La ilaha illallah or Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah. And the Tawheed of Risala, the Tawheed of Messengerhood is Ashhadu anna Muhammad an abduhu wa rasuluhu. So first we will go through the conditions of La ilaha illallah. The scholars mentioned that there are seven conditions of La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah means there is no God worthy of worship except Allah. The first condition is knowledge, al-ilm. That we have knowledge of what is the meaning of La ilaha illallah. Without this knowledge, your statement of La ilaha illallah is of no benefit, of no use. The second one is al-yaqeen. That is certainty. You should be certain that this is the truth from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You should not have any doubt about this. The third condition is Al-Ikhlas That is sincerity. We should be sincere towards uh, the statement La ilaha illallah. The fourth is As-Sidq Truthfulness You should believe in this with truthfulness with Sidq without hypocrisy. The next one is al qabul that is acceptance. You have to accept the shahada with your heart and with your tongue. That is, you have to accept la ilaha illallah. Then, al inqiyad. Al inqiyad. That is submission. That you submit to la ilaha illallah, its conditions, and everything that follows that. The rules and regulations of la ilaha illallah. And the last one, al-muhabba, that is love. The meaning here is that you love the shahada and you love all the things that are connected to the shahada. The more a place or a person or a book is connected to the shahada, the more you love it. And your love decreases as the distance from the shahada increases. That is, the love for a Muslim is different in comparison to the affection you have for another human being. So we as Muslims, we have a special love to the Muslims. We have a love of the deen to the madaris, the masajid, and lands where we have la ilaha illallah. This is the meaning of love. What is the meaning of وَأَشْهَدُ أَنَّ مُحَمَّدًا عَبْدُهُ وَرَسُولُهُ It means, and I bear witness that Muhammad is the slave of Allah and his messenger. This is Tawheed al-Risala. This is considered to be the statement of Tawheed al-Risala. Tawheed al-Risala means oneness of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his finality of prophethood. There is nobody else who has a share in his prophethood. We believe in all the prophets before him, but the Sharia will of only the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Muhammad, the son of Abdullah and Amin, only his Sharia will work. All the other Sharia are cancelled. So, what are the conditions of believing in? Ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu First of all That Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Is the last and final messenger sent by Allah Number two He is A servant of Allah A slave of Allah And a human being Number three We believe In things that he made Wajib To be wajib Things that he made permissible To be permissible We believe That things that he made prohibited To be prohibited Then we believe, we believe in his authentically established reports. Okay. Number six, we believe that if anyone's statements, any imams, any ustad's statements contradict that of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the wordings of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam will be given precedence, and this is wajib upon every Muslim. We believe. After that, we believe that he is the last and final Messenger sent by Allah, and no prophet or messenger will come after him. 
even if Isa alayhi salam descends after him and he will descend after Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam close to the day of judgment he will be following the sharia of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam Isa alayhi salam will not be getting anything new in the sharia so these, this is the meaning of uh, the shahada so all of you should listen to this uh, audio of mine and write down the conditions of uh, la ilaha illallah and the conditions of Muhammad Rasulullah and you should show it to me inshallah subhanakallah wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik